Alec Murdoch double murder trial as the state presented their closing arguments today. For some three hours, they laid out their case to the jury as to why they believe Murdoch shot and killed his wife and son. Our Darcy Strickland is in Walterboro with the latest from the Collington County courtroom. Darcy. JR, thank you so much. As you mentioned, day 27 of the Alec Murdoch double murder trial. I'm joining you now live outside of the Colleton County Courthouse in Walterboro. The day started with jurors taking what some are referring to as a field trip to the Moselle hunting property. When they arrived on the property, they had a chance to see the area where Paul and Maggie Murdoch were killed. This was a request from the defense. They wanted the jurors to come out and see that area. Judge Clifton Newman giving them the chance to go out there. And as you can see from the video that you're watching right now, it is a huge property. Looks a lot different than it did on that day back in June, uh, on June 7th, 2021, but still an opportunity for the jurors to see the area that they've heard about for the last six weeks in the courtroom. Once they got back to the courtroom, it was time for those closing statements to begin. Prosecutor Creighton Waters, his goal to make sure that none of the jurors believed Alec Murdoch's alibi. Here's what uh, Creighton Waters said that Murdoch did after finding his wife and son killed. 19 seconds. Is that enough time for a surprised human being to come across that scene, process what they are seeing? Get out of the car. Go over there. Check both those bodies and then call 911. He's changed the story now yet again because he's conf confronted with this evidence. The reason why it's so quick the reason why it's so quick is because he knew exactly what scene he was going to find. 19 seconds. Motive, means, and op Motive, means, and opportunity. That's what Creighton Water saying that Alec Murdoch had and the reason for why his wife and his son Paul are dead. Court adjourned today right about 445 with the prosecution wrapping up their closing arguments. Tomorrow we're going to hear from the defense. Jim Griffin is who we believe will be giving those closing arguments on Alec Murdoch's behalf. Now we have heard from Judge Clifton Newman that the deliberations could continue through the weekend. And with that being said, there is already a plan in place to see how uh, jurors make their decision. But again, things start tomorrow morning at nine again with the deliberations beginning after that uh, with the jury and then or, or the jury being charged and then deliberations coming after that. So uh, hopefully we will have an answer very soon on whether or not Alec Murdoch is guilty of the double murder if his wife and his son. Reporting live in Collinson County, Darcy Strickland, News 19, WLTX. JR. Darcy, thank you so much.